Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Mona Mix. On this week's episode, I'm going to teach you my tips and tricks on rhinestoning. Did you stone those tires? Now, they say that ugly girls need rhinestones, but I am gorgeous and always dripping in rhinestones. She's always looking wet. And I'm going to show you my ins and outs and all the techniques on how to rhinestone. So tune in, sit back, and enjoy this week's episode of Mona Makes. Amazing! The most important thing when it comes to rhinestoning is quality of product. Don't waste your time with no cheap plastic rhinestone you bought at Dollarama. Disgusting! Because it ain't gonna sparkle, it's gonna corrode and pop off your costumes. Check out Amazon, AliExpress, or Wish. They have some great quality rhinestones from affordable prices. I suggest a Swarovski crystal or something with a nice AB coating to help make it sparkle. Now, for glue, there is only one glue you need to use, and that is E6000. E6000 is the ticket. It is industrial strength. It can go through the wash, and it will keep those rhinestones on forever. Check it out. You can buy it at Michael's. That is the best place to get it from. They always have it in stock. So make sure you are using quality when you're rhinestoning your costumes. So E6000 comes in a pretty big tube, and it plops lots of glue all over your costumes. So what I use and what makes my life so much easier is syringes. You can get them on Amazon for super, super cheap. They come in a pack full of everything you need. Let me teach you how to put glue into your syringe. So I got my E6000 that is already opened up and I got the big piece of my syringe. Now I'm going to force the glue in. You wanna make sure that there is air going through the syringe because when you put this piece in, you want the air to be sucked out that way. So you just insert the little syringe and then you pop it all the way through, let the air fully get out. And then once you get to the tip of the syringe, you add your little applicator. Now these come in different sizes for different types of stones or intricate pieces. And this is how you fill glue into your syringe. This is the easiest trick. You can get a hundred little glue dots down in a second. So here's a couple tips and tricks on how to apply glue and your rhinestone to your product. So right here, I got my pink cowgirl hat. She is already fully rhinestone and looking gorgeous. I wonder whose bed her boots have been under. So I'm going to take my syringe that is full of glue and I'm just going to add a few glue dots. Just with a light squeeze, the glue will come out. Now I'm only going to do a few, but you can do hundreds of glue dots because the glue will last a while before it fully dries, so you got time to apply. To not waste all your glue, just pull a little bit and then lay it to rest and the glue won't continue to ooze out. So I got my glue drops down. Now they have a tool called Pick Me Up. Pick Me Up is a tool that helps pick up your rhinestone and place it. It is a pen with a little bit of a, like a sticky tack tip. You can get them at Michael's, but I find they are way too expensive and I've come up with an easier and better solution. I use blue sticky tack to stick on the windows and they work the bomb. Oh wow. I use it on a chopstick or if you're one of those girls and you like your little tweezers, you can use it on the tip of your tweezer. This is the best applicator and it's super affordable, super cheap, good to go. So I got my rhinestones and I'm just using a little AB rhinestone and they're in my little bowl to keep them safe and sound. I'm going to take my applicator and I got my rhinestones on the end and I'm just going to place down onto my glue dots. It's super easy and you can do so many very quickly in a short amount of time, which I love. And there's just enough sticky on the sticky tack to hold on to the rhinestone, but then not too much that once you put the rhinestone onto the glue dot, it won't come with it. It will stay nice and stick. So this is the bomb. This is the bomb. So many good tips and tricks to use when rhinestoning. You can do gowns and gowns and gowns full of rhinestones just with these two special tools. You can rhinestone pretty much anything. I've rhinestone bracelets. Ooh. Here's a few more. 
I've rhinestoned earrings on my little bananas. And my favorite thing to rhinestone is shoes. Ooh. Let's get some shoes. I got these gorgeous yellow rhinestone shoes. Ah. Just super simple and easy to do. They look gorgeous under the stage lights and will sparkle the whole night long. You can also use different colors to kind of do different effects. Here I got like a few different types of pinks oh. and fuchsias and AV just to create a little dimension and drama to the rhinestone shoe. Or you can just use one color or something more simple and create designs with your rhinestones. So here I just, I'm using all AB, but they're all different shapes and sizes, and they come up to make a cute little design on your rhinestone Ooh. shoe. Get creative, there is no right or wrong to drag, just better. And with these simple tips and tricks, you can be a rhinestone professional, just like Mona Moore. You have changed my life forever. You have changed the world of drag forever. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Mono Mix. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks of rhinestoning. It is a blast, it is so therapeutic, and it always finishes off your costumes and make them shine under the stage lights. The bars are opening up, we're going back into our shows. Let's add a little bit more sparkle to our looks. I hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week with a brand new Mono Mix. See you later.